Thank you for the second question on the use of Coumadin or alternative antiplatelet, modern so-called anticoagulants. Coumadin, uh, which is known by various, various nefarious names like rat poison and all kinds of other things, has really saved many people's lives and it has its place. But it works on clotting factors. Uh, you might think of it as it prevents jelly from forming, uh, with jelly then being the clot. Now antiplatelet agents like aspirin or more sophisticated antiplatelet caking agents actually prevent there from being a cork. In other words, if there is an injury or a leak, then those agents or the platelets under their normal condition actually would close off that hole by forming a cork. So the antiplatelet agents therefore are rather dangerous when it comes to small traumatic injuries or injuries where one might expect there to be a leakage of blood. So there is a completely different style of risk associated with taking antiplatelet drugs as there is when taking warfarin. And that's why it's so important to actually see a diving physician or a specialist or a hematologist who is familiar with exactly what the issues are. It's a complicated uh, situation. For many years we said that whenever anybody was on any, any anticoagulant, warfarin or otherwise they couldn't dive. Nowadays it is possible under certain condition that recreational divers are able to dive if they are able to adjust their style of diving to the underlying risk. And the best person to determine that together with a diver would be a diving physician who is experienced in diving medicine. Thank you. Indian.